Hi, welcome in this video. It's been quite a long time that I didn't record videos in English in Gypsy Jazz. So in this video, we're going to see how we can improvise an intro when, you want, when we want to play waltzes, which is a pretty common thing amongst Gypsy Jazz players, playing a waltz. How can we do an intro? Let's pick the famous waltz, uh, La Partida which is a waltz, I would say, pretty easy to play because usually waltzes are kind of difficult to play but this one is not too hard um, it's an A minor and let's see how we can do this the first thing you have to do is to pick the right tempo if you want to play the head of the waltz you have to pick a tempo that's easy for you and that sounds good and if it's for another musician who will play the head, it has to be the good tempo because if it's too fast, for example, it's gonna be really, it can be really hard to play. Um, so when you play your intro, try to look at other musicians if they find the tempo, if they think that the tempo is okay. And uh, if they, they look at you like, try to slow the tempo. This is the first thing. Now we have to, you have to take a few chords that you can play in this intro and that will go around the main chord, which is the one chord. If we play um, La Partida, La Partida, <laughs> which is uh, in A minor, we can pick a few chords that sound really good with this chord and it's better to pick a um, very, I would say, simple chord. The, so the one, the 5, which is an E7, you can play this way or this way. You can also pick the 2, which would be a B of diminished. You can also pick the dominant of the dominant, which would be the B7. This is a very common chord and a very beautiful chord that goes, this B7 wants to go to the E7, that wants to go to the A minor. So now we have, I would say, a map of chord, a few chords that we can play in our intro, A minor, B7, B half diminished, and E7. And for each chord, we can choose a different bass. We can choose various notes in the bass that will sound good with these chords. And these notes are the notes of the chords, <laughs> the notes that are in this chord. So for A minor, we can play an A, of course, a C, and the E, but we can also play the very low E. All this note would sound okay with A minor. For the B half diminished, we can play this chord this way also, and we can play the notes B, A, D, F maybe, and also the very low F. All this will sound good in the B half diminished. For the B7, we can play the B, the A, the D sharp, and also the F sharp in the low E string. And for the E7, the E, the G sharp, the B, and the D and the E. We can use these various basses to play like a low melody with the chords we want to play in our intro. Something that's important is that usually when we play an intro for a waltz, we play legato. We don't play staccato. We don't play. We usually don't play like this. We prefer to play. You saw that what I did, I changed every measure, I changed the bass note and this create a low melody. And after that I can change chord. For example, if I go to the two, to the five, okay so now you can move from one chord to another and 
you can play melodies that sound really good instead of just playing the chords like this which sounds okay we have melodies that we can play that sound even better so now with all these tools we have to create an intro let's take the example of a common intro of eight measures we have to start from a minor usually we start from the one from a minor and we have to go some on some chords to take a harmonic path that lead us to the end of the intro usually the end of an intro ends on the first first uh, beat of the last measure of the eighth measure so a minor some chord five six seven ba -da -ba -da 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 -da, and then it starts so we have to go somewhere that lead us to this e7 so maybe we can do a minor b7 e7 but maybe we don't have enough chords for example it sounds okay but this e7 is it could be better if it's shorter so let's take maybe the two the b half diminished and then b7 e7 this sounds good So you have to try various things that will sound, maybe sometimes they will sound really good depending on the bass you play also. And sometimes they won't sound good. For example, if I go to the one, it's, it sounds okay, but it can sound much better, I think. Um, so here are a few examples that sound good. That you like these examples of course you can do things much more crazy that than what I did but it's a, I think it's a good start if you play this kind of in intro uh, you can also you don't always have to do this E7 you can also start a tune by resolving on the one so, so it will end the intro will end on the first bar of the eighth measure, but on an A minor. So on the seventh measure, you have to do this A, E, A. For example. As a conclusion, it's important to understand that you have to play on a steady beat. You have to play simple chords minor major seventh chord and that's it and you have to do something that's i would say really clean that the sound is good and everybody everybody understand when to start with for example this e7 that makes it pretty obvious when you are going to start i really hope that these tips will help you creating beautiful intros for your waltzes i will try as much as possible to produce and to publish more videos in English on my YouTube channel and also remember that you can support me on Patreon.